And we are all the way back. The Adventures of the Black Nerds. This is Baron J67. And I'm I think I'm the best co-host this ever. Co host, I'll just <laughs> the best. Uh, we are kind of like co- yeah, but I am T Jones. And uh this is episode twenty three. I twenty three? Or is it twenty two? I think it's twenty three. Yeah. I think it's twenty three. Today is episode twenty three. Uh, we're gonna rock with twenty three until I can confirm that it's not. Yeah, cause I don't. <laughs> I really. I don't know. See, I have this weird thing where I don't really like listen to myself, cause I yeah. think I sound weird and I think I sound very awkward. Um, and I think I sound like a cornball. Uh huh. So I I've actually apologized to my wife a few times about <laughs> um about having to listen to me rant and talk on because as much as i talk here i talk and they listen at home. yeah poor they, people they poor listen. people poor people i don't know why like don't do it to your ears folks yeah please don't please don't because i'm my voice is horrid <laughs> yeah i didn't i had to get i know how i got used to it was um actually uh and yes to confirm this is episode 23 Okay. We promise to do better. <laughs> we will do better. We will do better. But uh, not only that, uh, yeah, I, I had to get used to hearing my voice um, by doing gameplay uh, commentaries and just literally recording over gameplay and then listening back to it. Because I used to start it, and once I started, I would cut it off. And yep. I'll be like, nope, it sounds good enough. I'll just put it out there. <laughs> let yep. Other people do the. It's like halfway through, your mic's cut out. And you know they say you're you're your worst critic. So I'm sitting here listening to myself. I think it it sounds horrendous. But when somebody else tells me it either sounds horrendous or it sounds cool, then I, I'm kind of like, okay, cool. I can take that. I can take other people telling me I sound bad. I wonder. I wonder how <laughs> singers like feel about their own voice. Like, of course you guys. I would, like I would uh, assume. Are you okay? I would assume that like after a while it just becomes like eh, it's it's a deal. I'm Adele. <laughs> I'm, like, like, I'm Rihanna. I'm Beyonce. It just, it just, I don't know. I don't know. Like that. Do you really think it's about. like you? Ever, have you ever seen uh, Empire? Do you really think it's like Empire? <laughs> like they be in the studio. I need to hear your C's and your. <laughs> I, <laughs> see, you know what's funny? I haven't watched Empire since season one. I actually refuse to watch it. Okay. Um. Well, I mean, even back then, they used to, yeah. like, when they're in the studios and they're, and I need you to do this and bring you, bring you from your gut. Like, you really think they'd be in the studio like yeah, that? Especially 100%, with the. 100%. Really? Yes. What makes you say have that? You ever, have you ever spent, been in the studio with people? Heck like, no. Okay, I, I've, I've spent some time in the studio with people, like hours <sighs> and hours and hours on end. And yes, Singing or rapping? It doesn't matter. Um, creating music. Um, and it's so funny to see people like fixing their pitch, like to match certain points and trying to get all low and make that moment. It's so weird. Like all Mm. of this is so weird. Uh, I still, I I never get over it. Like, I think, I think I've watched maybe like 15 minutes of one of our episodes. They're bad. You're I'm bad, terrible. Man. I just I don't like, and I I thought I was weird, and then I found out a lot of actors don't go and see their movies. Heck no. Like it's I just, want, like that's I, just somebody, creepy. Think about it. Some of these these movies take like okay, it takes us what we can shoot and have an episode edited or shot and edited in one day. Mm-hmm. These movies sometimes be taking years, months for sure. You know, months for sure, months at the minimum, but years to get done. You think I'm about to? I I didn't shot that scene forty five times. I'm not about to go watch <laughs> watch Man. me do the scene that I can break down literally how it happened. Like I I would I would rather I would rather hear a director like a director who directed the film watch it. I I can understand why directors go and watch the movies that they put out 
not only are they a part of the whole process of making it, but then the full breakdown. Like I seen um, when Ryan Coogle did the full breakdown of certain scenes of Black Panther. Mm. Oh, man, it, it was so legit. Like he talked about the colors, the colors they were going for, the angles, what they were trying to do, how things happen. So it was kind of like like hearing him actually sit there and talk about it. That was that was on some other level, like thing I've never heard or somebody break something down like that. Without you know that what? was cool. You know what? I just thought about. Um... So as a recent, um, and I'm really jumping big topics. I was gonna talk about this is America, but didn't we talk about that already? Mm, no, we did not. You know what? Let's talk about it. So no. Are you want to talk about because I I haven't really broke it down yet. Damn it. Okay, well, let's talk about the E3 leaks. So, folks, next month, E3, this is speculation season. E3. Like, I love this time of year only because it's like waiting to see what the video game Santa is going to release upon the world. Mm -hmm. And I'm actually looking forward to a lot of the big companies that I, I follow, such as CD Projekt Red. I'm looking forward to uh, Bethesda Game Studios and Bethesda because what people need to know, um, and Mr. Matty Plays breaks it down. He does a whole little schooling. There's Bethesda, there's Bethesda, and then you got Bethesda Game Studios, ID, the people who made Doom, Zenimax. Yeah. Uh, Zen- Is it Zenimax? I want to say Zenimax. Like everybody under it. So this okay. is the first time we're going to get a Bethesda Game Studios game since fallout 4 um and a lot of people are hoping it's starfield now we don't know what starfield means we don't even know if that's like the real name of the game but we know it's something they want to do but the whole point of me bringing all this up during speculation season is this was a big leak walmart and this is super old news at this point but it's still huge walmart um in canada their twitter account somebody leaked are there the Walmart Canada stores leaked a whole uh, store page with all the games that are supposed to be released for this E3, and they already. Had I can them tell up. you a few right now. They yeah. leaked just uh, Gears four. of War, Gears of War Five, uh-huh. Borderlands Three, uh-huh. Rage Two, which Splinter got Cell, Assassin's Creed, and it says much more. So, uh, oh, here's a Just Cause Four. Uh huh. Uh, Destiny Comet. I never mm. heard of that one. Oh, well, that oh, was Destiny an original Comet code, name, the, code name. That's for, the, yeah, yeah, that's the DLC for Destiny Two. Um, Lego DC Villains. Yep. Dragon Quest Two, which for, is uh, weird. Forza Horizon Five. The Division that's another Two. Weird one too. Which one, Forza? Forza, Dragon Quest, and um. Those were the only iffy ones. I'm thinking it was uh, just a loss in translation, the names. Yeah. But everything else is very viable. Like the chances of those being released is very as high as hell. Like yeah. Assassin's probably... Creed, they can do another reboot. It's about time for oh, Splinter Cell. Just yeah. cause four, that's always a hit. Uh Division Two, Man's we've 3. already Division Two, we've already been hit to. Yep. And then Rage um, Two got confirmed yesterday. Yeah, and, uh, um, so this lets me, this ones, lets me think this is real. Other ones they leaked was uh, Dreams on the PS4, Beyond Good and Evil Two. Well, the, those are those leaks. I'm not too worried about because we anything like the Last Why of Us Two. Those we already that. knew they were coming. Yeah. Um, There's a fly in my room. <laughs> oh, God. back up off me, dog! <laughs> Kill with the two yeah, Damn, yeah, they they messed up. Yeah, they messed up really bad. Like there, um, a lot of people are saying this is probably one of the biggest leaks to ever happen, like on this scale. Because it, you think about it, Rage Two, nobody even thought about that game, and then the leak happened. Yeah, and then it but, damn near confirmed it. But you know, you know what's funny when I hear people, I I, and then whether whether the person that's information got leaked or whatever i never really take it serious because uh you kind of want that you kind of want some you kind of want the hype like rage 2 was something nobody was thinking about so you kind of like 
you know, up in arms or looking for it, trying to find out what they can find about it. By it. So I'm not really, I'm not excited. I'm not really like, I just want to see it. I'm more of like, let me see it now. Like, cool. It's cool to hear about it. Let me see it. So if even if they weren't behind it, it it's still like, oh, yeah, that's cool. You know, uh, Gears of War 5. I, I'm actually, I'm excited for Gears of War 5 because of the competitive scene. That's why I'm excited for Gears of War 5. Splinter Cell is always a, always a go. Borderlands 3, I never played any Borderlands. What if Splinter Cell tries to do an open world, like Metal Gear Solid thing? I don't know, man. I just... I'm trying to, like, because <laughs> I'm going to tell you, the best Splinter Cell for me, besides the fully co-op one, story mode, which was I think was the last one, was Double yeah. Agent. Double okay. Agent was fun. That was on 360? Uh, yes, it was on 360. That was the yeah. one where you never really got out of a mission. You were kind yeah. of always in a mission, even when you went back to base because you were clearly a double agent. I feel like I said that before, but that's mm-hmm. beside the point. Um, I'm I'm really excited for E3, and then you Bethesda are. they need to make up for themselves because they really took a dump in their pants. Mm-hmm. The last E3, it fell so flat, like. And then I don't want to see another release of Skyrim. Like, I'm waiting for Skyrim on calculators. Uh, That's how many Skyrim releases there's been. I want to say legit there's been over nine re-releases of that game. Okay. Really? Yeah, I'm not. Since 2011. Different consoles. Yeah. Yeah. The, the, I I mean, it's bad. The re, it's bad. And then they mm-hmm. even re- they released it on Twitch, on Twitch. I'm sorry, on the Switch. Um, so you're excited for E3? I am super excited for E3. Okay, I'm I'm, I'm super excited. I want to sit back, I want to get some damn popcorn, kick back, and have a good ass time, and yeah. just sit back and watch all the craziness. Um, uh, I think me? I think I'm usually at work when they do a lot of the major showcases like um for microsoft sony yeah Um, but one thing i'm actually more excited for randomly oddly enough is i want to see what playstation is gonna show now playstation there's a samurai game or a ninja game that's coming out um Mm -hmm. ghost of something i don't want to butcher the name i'm really waiting on that one that i can't wait to see what they're doing see what Um, sony got going on yeah, because Sony, uh, PlayStation, I mean, the proof is in the pudding, dude. They have all the um, exclusives. Yeah. You know, they got all the exclusives. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. Like, I have more exclusives. Yeah. I only own, like, six games for my PlayStation, and they're all, I think they're all exclusives. Yeah. <laughs> like, well, I mean, they all, everybody went the way of the PlayStation. This 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 generation of con- of new, new the new-gen consoles, so... I mean, I, with me, with E3, I think ever since we, we kind of started the podcast and we started talking about uh, everything from microtransactions up to demos and things like that, I'm not excited for E3 as I would have been last year. The only okay. reason is because, um, like, with it's a lot of games that have came out and that have uh, that I was excited for that I'm not playing right now. And that I don't care to play for. I don't care to play for. And I think I'm gonna stick by that. I'm gonna stick by that because I, I, I mean, I say this to this day. Sometimes demos, sometimes trailers ruin the game because sometimes that's the game or that's the movie in there. So uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna sit back this E3 because I'm I'm all I'm just as giddy as you with E3. Um, every year, every year is always something to watch. I'd be sitting down watching the live streams and because you can't, they, and then most of Twitch is going to be live streaming the, yep. the expo. So, uh, they should even have a live stream of their own, if I'm not mistaken, They will, but though they will. Okay. On Twitch. Uh, usually all play. I don't know if it, uh, this year, um, last year, I want to say they live streamed on YouTube and like yeah. IGN and whatnot. But okay. I wouldn't doubt if they're gonna have it on um, Twitch. on Twitch. They'd be they'd right. be fools not to, or at least Mixer. So I'm I'm kind of I'm kind of waiting. Um, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm I'm gonna probably uh I'm probably not I'm probably just gonna watch for all of the games that I was 
expecting like the division two like destiny comment because i'm playing destiny as of right now the division two because i would love to get back into the division so I, those are probably the only things i'm gonna look at and then i'm just gonna get hear what you think on the rest of them i'm gonna I'm probably just bum it off bum the information off you this time gotcha. <laughs> yeah no, I got so you, man um you know it's uh e3 man fucking e3 e- just... e3's always been premier like hype because it's always been like everyone's excited, you know. If, if even if it's something you weren't really caring for, you're still there clapping and ooh, yeah. Because it's it's E3. You're at E3. It's an experience. It's an experience I've never experienced in person, which I would love to. Um, but with E3 this year and with the way games have been, not only this year but the end of last year, I'm gonna kick back. And I'm gonna just wait it out, and uh, let the dust settle, and see what's gonna happen. You, you know, you know, man. Uh, for me, I'm a what's the term? I'm a pessimist. I'm a pessimistic optimist. Uh-huh. Um, I don't know how real of a term that is. Damn. But basically, <laughs> it just means that I plan for the worst and hope for the best. Uh-huh. That's that's the best way. That's how that's how that's how I get through my day. So yeah. I anticipate the worst possible case scenario. Mm. But I'm hopeful that that doesn't happen. So yeah. that's why that's probably why I'm smiling all the damn time because mm-hmm. it went way better. As, as you I say that, to... I realize how crazy you are. <laughs> yeah, I got issues, man. I, I'm working through some things. Um, you know, I'm I'm working progress. Mm. Uh, uh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but I mean Listen, e, like I said, E3 is like gamers heaven. Not only gamers heaven, but tech heaven as well. If you're into tech, if you're into gaming, uh, it is the place you want to, or the the event you want to at least pay attention to. It's just I'm I'm more in it for the gaming tech. Tech is gonna ride around. We're gonna see that. We're gonna hear about it. If it's something major, if it's something great, we're gonna hear. It, we're gonna see about it. Um, I'm more so loving. I'm more so there to for the experience of the gaming, but this year I'm just gonna I'll play it safe, play it a little safe this year. But I what we'll do is we'll do a full recap on it through your lens because I know you're watching it all. And E3 is actually E3 is the week. That's the week before MLG Anaheim. Ooh. Hmm. So it's E3. Then the next week is MLG Anaheim, which is the uh, Call of Duty event. Um, Major League yeah. Gaming, for those who don't know. Yeah, yeah, MLG. So Can't yeah, throwing, um, uh, can't be just throwing out abbreviations and not uh, saying exactly what they are. But I'm sorry, I got you guys. And um, yeah, so M R E three, M M L G, and then the week after that is, I don't think there's nothing. Yeah, because they canceled the GameStop Expo. Oh, they did? Yeah, they're not doing it anymore. And that's something you you go to every year. Oh, I went every year, and mm-hmm. it broke my heart. I went on the website to go pl- buy my tickets, and they had uh-huh. a letter up. And it was like, oh, we're, we suck, and we no longer want to make our, our consumers happy, and oh, you guys man. go about your way. That's not what they said, but that's how I read it. Yeah. Um, they're trash. Um, <laughs> and sneak that one in there. They are, bro. Hey, dude, this shit breaks my heart, man. Cause it, that was a major part of my year. Like, I legit would take like vacation packages and stuff and mm-hmm. build around um, going to the expo. Going to the expo, cause it yeah. was either in Anaheim or it was in Vegas. And yeah. Then, actually, I think a big reason why they canceled it is cause they moved it. Um, I talked to a couple of managers, and they said that they moved their conference to Indianapolis this year. Mm, okay. Um, which yeah. would have been hard to that. go to. Yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah, that's that's kind of like, like, oh. You ever been to Indianapolis? No. Well, no. have I? I ain't no, been not, been no. No, I probably went through. No, 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 no. Yeah. Shit. Where the hell is Indianapolis? <laughs> oh, God. We're not doing geography today. Man. <laughs> Just know it's within the continental United States. Indianapolis, really? <laughs> I can't believe I don't Boy. know. Boy. <laughs> Come on, man. You know they don't teach us geography no more. 
I'll be no never to say. Yeah, but yeah, they moved it. Why would they move it to any and that? Um, who knows? It could be cost. They could be moving their company. Cause okay, so the original purpose, which the GameStop Expo has always been for the managers. It's always been the place where the managers get new product. Anything coming out that coming up year, they give it to them there. They train the managers up on new things. Uh, they pitch products to them. Da, da, da. So it, that always existed. But mm. within the last, I want to say the last five years, damn, it has been five years. They opened up a one day of it to the public. Okay. So it was, it was like E3, but way more interactive and less people. Oh wow! I loved it, bro. It my oh. first, huh? No, I was about to say, yeah, I know you loved it because remember you called me, bro, and th- you called me and said, "I got a gang of stuff for you." Bro, <laughs> I, it's so it's so crazy. The yeah. first year I went, they were giving out Steam codes, they were giving out games, they were giving out freaking uh, memorabilia and Prima guides, and it was it was just wild. How yeah. much stuff they're giving out, but that wasn't even the that that was the icing on the cake. The dope part was, um, at the time I want to say it was like Battlefront. Mm. All the games that were coming out that next like year year and a half, they had there, you could play. Okay, like I played Final Fantasy, um, the Final Fantasy fourteen, well before it came out. I got yeah. to play, and even before the Dusuke, uh demo, um, I got to play Battlefront, Battlefront two. Um, I even played Dark Souls three before it came out. Mm. Um, it it was it was crazy. Like you just got to do so much. There were so many giveaways. There were so many epic moments. Um, even Fallout uh, had a booth and was doing like pictures and giveaways and bottle caps. Yeah. I think I still got the bottle caps. Um, but it was just... that the you had your Dragon Age or your what was it yeah, Dragon Age that, Inquisition picture yeah, that was there? That, yeah. yeah, I knew that. Dragon Age Inquisition, and that's also where I played when they released um, the Alien. Um, how was it? Versus Predator. No, 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 no. The it, it's a game that just came out. Alien. Um, it's called Alien something, where you basically ran around and you were getting out, get getting off the ship away from the alien. That was the whole point. Oh, um, okay. From running from the Xenomorph or the Xeno Queen or whatever, and um, you got to sit in the giant alien egg. And then they had these GoPro cameras on you and you had this like headset on and you played the game in this giant egg and everybody was outside watching you on camera, like freaking out and try to get away. Um, It was dude, it was just uh, it was a dope experience. And it's funny because I met a lot of regulars, um, people that I would run into. Only time we'd ever talk to each other and see each other was at the E3 Expo. Or yeah, my E3 at the GameStop Expo. At the GameStop Expo. And we would all just link up. Like we like we hung out all year long. Like, and, hey, you're there. Yeah, yeah, I made it. Yep, that's the only time we hit each other up, and then we all link up and we just go run run wild. Yeah. But, um it it was a it was a really good experience, man. And I I'm hurt that they stopped it. Um, who who knows if it'll ever come back? Because let's be honest, all it would take for GameStop to kind of crumble, in my opinion, is if everybody went completely digital. That mm-hmm. would crumble. At least they yeah. would start the process to crumble. Um, yeah, you know, I cause... don't, man. I don't know. After after getting these Pokemon codes the other day, I don't know if they gonna be if they gonna be crumbling soon. Cause uh, no, no, no. It would be. A, it I would know. Very, it'd be a very slow process because yeah. You no, think, I, look how many I know, people, I was just... people barely stop playing PlayStation Two. Like yeah. they barely cut the servers off for PlayStation Two. Mm-hmm. I want to say very recent, like within the last year. Um, and then people still buy Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3 games. Of course, yeah. I want to say, didn't they release I, the last FIFA on PlayStation 3? I'm not sure. I want to say they did. Did they? It did? Because it, I think it was Cristiano Ronaldo on the uh, on the, on co- the cover. Yeah. But whatever. Yeah. That, that's beside the point. Um uh, that's so as sad. long as people are buying those things, and good thing they start selling a lot of figures and whatnot, because now they look mm-hmm. like Toys R Us more than and a game store. And they're they're actually I was just on their website. They're actually going online for a, like yep. putting their lot online only, online only, online yep. only stuff that they would normally have in the store. So, um, you know they 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 trying to keep up. They breathing. 
Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. They I'm going to be honest. I hope they stay around forever, you know, because it's always fun to go to a brick and mortar game store where the whole but purpose see, is gaming. I get I get more kick out of I was just this week. I was just walking into um uh what do you call those things? Pawn shops. Mm-hmm. Just to see what they have. Some of them pieces got some gems in there. And some of them places know what they have. Because I'm looking at the prices on some of this stuff. I'm like, I ain't paying that. I'm not paying that. I might as well save and go get a Switch. Yeah. Which I'm really, really thinking about now. Really becoming a fan of Nintendo well, again. I know you should hurry up and do it. Um, I want to get one just so I can have an original. That can yeah, the OG one. That can be jailbroken. Because who knows when the next wave is going to come out. Or even if they do come out with the next wave of them. Yeah. Um, and that would suck to get one that's not jailbreakable. I heard somebody running Linux. I was like, what? But um, but no, dude. Um, what am, like I used to. Um, there's this pawn shop that I would go to. It's actually not even a pawn shop. It's a um, well, it kind of operates like a pawn shop, but it's board shops of America, mm-hmm. and it's a skateboard shop. But you go in and you walk a little further back, and there's everything from unopened Sega games to. Neo Geo, like it, it's crazy. Yeah. Like just about anything you can think of, gaming wise, it's in there and it exists. And this old dude looks like a video game character, and he's back there just selling <laughs> games, man. Like it's, yeah. it's crazy. I don't know how I found it, um, or why. Just I being you. There. Yeah. Just being you. <laughs> yeah. Super <laughs> random. Super weird. Mm-hmm. Um. Hell of an experience, but you know what? Speaking on games, what I got into recently is I um I don't even think I talked to you about it. I went and bought some board games, like not um not like Monopoly or anything like that. I went. Oh, I know your ass ain't playing Monopoly. I love Monopoly. I'm, man, last time I tried to get you to play Monopoly, you was like, no, it's too no, long. <laughs> it is too long. It is way it's too, too long. long. And most we, most we Monopoly games end with people frustrated. It rarely ends with somebody with all the money and all the property. It, it really ends with people just walking away. Man, I don't you, think I've ever finished a full Monopoly game. Really? Let me know Man, in the comments we, how many full Monopoly f- to completion till everybody's poor I'm, or, and I'm somebody's you, rich. I'm going to let you know I used to. It'd be, it be two people left and you already know who in. <laughs> I'm still playing. <laughs> still that's, what I'm say, that's what I'm saying. Like. When it gets to that point, I just walk away, bro. Like, I'm, yeah. it, it's like it's like playing tic tac toe. When you get good enough, you know who's gonna win. Like, you don't mm-hmm. even have to finish the damn game. But we so, we just had the hard alliance in my household. Growing up, that's what we growing up. Sister used to come over. My brother in law used to play, and we would all we would just sit down and play Monopoly for like we would play it four five times in one day. And that's four or five times in one day. Six people, sometimes seven, and we'd be sitting there just playing. And when somebody get somebody get left out, somebody get kicked out, uh, you know, we'll continue playing, continue playing. And it'd be two. I remember it was a, it was a. I was so tired. It was me and Boogie playing. We were so tired, and I had everything, but he just did not. <laughs> he did not want to quit because we would always say, if you whoever loses. The first person that loses has to put it up, right? Mm. So if you're if you're the first person out, you have to put it up. But if you're this, but if you quit, you automatically have to put it up. So I'm gonna win, and I'm like, man, I I can't quit because I ain't trying to put this shit up. You, you have all the money all bent up, rolled yeah. up, in. <laughs> so ain't nobody trying to sit there and put all that stuff up. So we would be in heated. Like I'm talking about, we sitting there like, man, roll the dice, man, bro. <laughs> Being mad at each other, See? but I, I love those nights, bro. Hey, Monopoly night, you gonna come on over? Nope. <laughs> Hell no, 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 no. So, uh, back on topic, you but said you bought some, you. uh, yeah. So, I picked up some role playing games, so I picked up a Dungeons and Dragons starter kit, oh, and then shit. I went, yeah, I'm getting real. Then I picked up a uh, uh, Munchkin, which is a uh, it's a card game. And man, so me, Kylie, so you need three people to play. So okay. we created an arbitrary character that we <laughs> rock, paper, scissors to have to have make decisions. So yeah, y'all need to get Siri. <laughs> bro, basically, that's or basically Alexa. <laughs> that's basically what happened. So mm-hmm. this guy so real, I'm thinking I'm about to win because I was cre- I was freaked out 
because the arbitrary character was beating all of us. Um, oh wow! Yeah, this this entity had all the best of everything. It well, was, was a the gnome with a gnome name? hammer. I don't know. I don't know. I didn't even come up with a name. I was just they call him the thing, the person. His name person was John. Three. Person three. Um, I was hot because he kept getting all the easy monsters, and the whole point of the game is to rank up to level ten. Okay. Like once your character ranks to level ten by killing a monster, unless a unless a treasure card ranks you up and tells you you can win. You that's the point of the game. So mm. I'm in third. I'm last. Um, <laughs> I, it's my idea. I'm into the. I'm into this. Yes, I'm, last. Smack. I'm getting smacked. And so this easy monster finally comes my way and I'm like, woo, it's going to be a breeze. So I'm getting ready to kill him. And because you get two seconds or whatever house rules are, you get two seconds to decide to help or hurt somebody. And my wife, whom I love, freaking th- made this level one monster rank up to level 21. <laughs> she was like, enraged card, enraged card, this card, that card, and special Damn. ability card. Boom. And I was like, ain't this by the bitch. <laughs> and I I played all my cards. She waited until I played everything. I had my potion. or I didn't have my potion in my inventory. Because uh-huh. if you don't have your card out on your inventory, you can't use it. Like, I was just caught with my pants down. And so, and if you die, that's it. Like, you that's don't it. get to dungeon you crawl no game. more. So, I'm sitting there and I'm like, well, are you going to help me? Like, <laughs> like no. And she was like, well, okay. But I get all the treasure. Because you get treasure for every monster you kill. Okay. And I was like, well, I just, I just want to live because I don't want to. <laughs> I don't want to die, so can you please, like, can you please, really please <laughs> help like, me? Help me, help me. So I leveled up, and I ended up still losing. Uh, mm. I was in last place. I don't know what killed me. I don't. I forgot what the name of the monster was. <laughs> Shout out to your real one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What? Uh, and then the arbitrary guy, because we played rock paper scissors for every decision. I ended up uh-huh. losing that. Mm. Um. So I nice. just had a, a garbage experience. One thing I noticed though, we haven't opened the box back up. Um, <laughs> hell, that's all you though. Yeah, that's on me because I really that's did take you. that L, and um, I, I wear it with pride. Um, he said, "I ain't play this shit no more." <laughs> I was hot, but now I'm I'm like really into it now, and I'm happy that mm-hmm. my wife is into it because it's it's like a fun something different. It's a, it's a yeah. way to get her into RPGs because that's what it is. You get you get a headgear, you get a chest piece, you get legs, and you get either one two one handed weapons or one two handed weapon, and then you get different abilities based on your your uh, your race, uh, whether you're a gnome, an elf, mm. and then you get different classes, and this is all cards. So I you know that's right up my alley. I was hooked. And then I'm trying to play it now. Yeah, it's fun, man. It's really With fun. Weapons, I want to be an elf, and I want to have an afro. Well, you got to draw the cards, and hopefully that oh, you know you could have shit. the afro. That that can happen, but <laughs> you may end up being like a cleric with a dagger and like muddy boots, where you have no. Speed. Like it, it, it could go bad. It could yeah. go really bad. It could go very well or really bad. So how have you ever done this? Have you ever played those type of? No, and and that and that's the one cool thing too, because the community, when it comes to the board game community and RPG role playing games, they're actually really helpful. So mm-hmm. we have a local store, and that's and shout out to um, all the local uh, game stores. And if you play any type of card games, uh, Dungeons and Dragons or Magic: The Gathering, always go buy from a place you can play at. Mm, um, okay, it's just a good way to support. Keeps a bit just like I buy. If I'm gonna buy a comic book, I go to a comic book store. I yeah. go to, you know what I mean. I could easily go to Amazon. I'll go to Walmart. Yeah, go to a comic book store. Like show yeah. support, so these people, you know, can stay around, and it's something that you can not, take your family to. Not only that, the conversations be way better. Amazing. Way better. I went. I went to go buy a couple uh baseball cards or uh-huh. football cards. I'm sorry, and the conversation I had with this old dude turned out to be the, one of the greatest conversations I ever had. He ended up giving me some cards just cuz. See? And he was like, he was just hooking me up because of how interesting I seemed to him at that moment in time. And I, I remember getting off work saying, 
I've seen it on the phone that there was a comic book store or a, a, a collector's like card store around the corner. Got off work, sped over there, talked to the dude. He he was hooking me up with some cards and stuff, and we just had a dope conversation. So yeah, always go to where you, what you're trying to get. Go to that specific store. Yeah, man. It, it just it, you get a way better experience, and you get more honest commentary and um and honest reviews on certain things because this yeah. is clear, this is what they do. Like when I walked into this board, this game store, this collector store, they literally had a whole side of the building that was for playing like Warhammer and other mm-hmm. board games. Like they legit, they had a whole area set up with tables, terrain made, different mountains and whatnot, and Damn. ready to run different games. You could, I mean, it, it, it's crazy, and um, it's a. I could see it being addicting too. Mm, I like know, just getting caught up. Having fun, like oh, we need a new adventure. Like oh, we need this. Oh, let's go it's, buy this new set. Oh, it, you know, it's like you know, it's funny because that's exactly what I was about to say. It's like video game family. I'm gonna tell you when the first time I we ever had like family night gaming experience. Uh, shout out to my brother in law. He always had like the dopest. He always came up with like the dopest ideas. And he never told anybody <laughs> what he was doing. So one day I come home and he was like, hey, uh, I got this new game uh, that we're going to all play. All right, hell yeah, let's do it. He puts Age of Empires on all of our computers. And he was like, all right, you go in that room, go in this room, go in that room, go in this room. Five people on the lap <laughs> on one map on th- these computers and we just all playing all got maxed out stuff the only thing we got to do is build our base and build our army and when i tell you those were the best weekends like i'm talking like we playing eight nine ten times a day so with board games that's not only is that a different field it's a different it's gaming but it's a different feel for gaming yeah you could do that with the utmost imagination like and have the greatest of the time it just seems like i have such a great time i've always wanted to do it just never really i mean there's so many games out here so many rpg yeah, games no, out here it, that i've played that you know i just never had the opportunity i guess to sit down and say i'm about to play this board game and see what it's like to experience something like that and so and, oh go ahead no so i was like so yeah i, I just when i'm getting my invitation oh, bro you know you're always <laughs> Man, we could even run. Uh, we could even run one online and live stream. I know. Um, I know. Be we so could. Dope. I mean, we could do, do they? Dungeons and Dragons. Like they have Dungeons and Dragons podcast and all that. Yeah. Yeah. We could. That'd, we could do all that. That would be fun, man. Be um, and and you know it, it's a total trip because my wife knew enough about Dungeons and Dragons because of Stranger Things, because that's mm. kind of how the game the show starts. Is yeah. Dungeons and Dragons, and she was uh, enough to keep up. And we haven't played, we haven't made a play with that yet, um, okay. because I'm a little, I'm a little nervous because I feel like you got to be a little more creative to have a good time playing Dungeons and Dragons. Yeah, uh, and I'm a, I was about to say this. Uh, we, me, and you were having a conversation a couple of weeks ago, like how, like, um, like as you get, as I, well, I was saying to you that as I got felt like i was losing that creative vibe this is something to jog that and yeah. so imagine playing with somebody that don't have no type of creative nothing and then you start playing with them they play the first time first time goes horrible second time they start i got a flame sword and i take you know they doing whatever I swing at the it, legs of the beast yeah and- it, it actually starts to jog their jog people memory or it jogs their their personality. It brings that creativity oh. to so, life. Yo, I think that'd be dope. I you know why I'm scared to play against your wife because I know how she is. She's ruthless. And I know and I know I know for a fact she's well prepared. <laughs> Bro, she's ruthless. Like <laughs> she she walks around and acts all innocent. She is ruthless. She takes she's, no prisoners. And I think she would destroy her kids in any game just to show them that she was supposed to win <laughs> i'm not surprised by that yep that's she that's why i've right seen there. her hit me she could have made the monster she made sure the monster was strong enough that i couldn't there was nothing 
I could yeah. do but ask for help and give up my treasure. So it, you gonna give up that that treasure? Like it was, it was very, it was very well thought was, out. It was so a you, hell you, of a plan. You had that, you had that planned. Yeah, heart- yeah. Oh, she was waiting. She was waiting, yeah. and it was funny because I didn't even read it. You know, I'm not a big poker player or nothing, so I didn't mm-hmm. even pay attention catching the cu- uh, cues that she was about to play me out. Yeah. Uh, and st- and before I kick down the door, because that's what they call it, you kick down the door. Uh, that's when you're like gonna fight a monster. Yeah. And I should have put my potion in my uh my inventory. Yeah. I should have I should have been ready. Mm-hmm. But I'm thinking, oh, I can't be that bad. There's nothing out there that can just work me over. And she yeah. took the smallest, most minute monster I could come across and turned him into a dragon a with a thousand eggs. <laughs> and it was stupid. And I was I was hurt. Hey, I lost well, you all on all the treasure. Come, come adjust it the next time. You know what yeah, you're dealing oh, with. Oh, yeah. I know what I'm dealing with. You know. Mm-hmm. You know nope. nope, nope. So, dun- so those are the only two board games you got? Yeah, and actually um, Munchkin is, more, is a card game. Okay. Um, and actually, I picked up another card game because uh, it was on sale. GameStop actually sells a lot of card games now, too. Mm. Um, it's basically an escape room, but in cards. Okay. And it's it's supposed to be the whole setup of an escape room, except you're doing it all with cards. And mm. I, uh, I know my wife's really into escape rooms. Have you done I, an escape room? No, I've always wanted to try it. They had some in, in Long Beach. They had... I had one in Long Beach I heard about. Um, I've always wanted to try it because the one I one that I did see, I watched somebody on it was, it's literally they give you the location, you go there, and then you have to try. That's it. There is no like no warning, no no, pa- no paper you gotta sign or nothing. Literally, you go to the address. The one that I seen uh, though, you go to the address. You, you follow the instructions, you get into the room, and then you just figure it out. You got to figure it out. And then subtle, obviously, they have, like, the, the whole, like, safe word or whatever you got to say to get up out of there. But the, it, it literally just rocks like that. So it's it's imagine, imagine playing an old school RPG game with no clues. Like, you can't radio nobody. You, imagine playing Snake, but you can't talk to... You can't use your comms. Can't talk or, to I'm, I'm, yeah, you, you play a Metal Gear Solid. Metal Gear Solid. Uh, what was the one on PlayStation Three? Something es- espionage. Uh, Something on PlayStation Three. It was Sons of Liberty. No, no, I meant no. On a uh, play, not PlayStation Three. On PlayStation, the first it one was uh, tactical espionage. I think yep. is that what it is. Uh-huh. Imagine playing that. You have, but you have no HUD. No nothing. No hub, I'm sorry. No nothing. You can't talk to nobody. Can't nobody say nothing. Enemies don't say nothing. That's what you're dealing with when you go to an, an, an escape room. So it was, uh, it was cool. I, like, I, wanna... I, I think I've done I think I've done two of them. Really? Um yeah. Uh we got out of one and the other one they played me out. So it was a work trip and they did girls versus boys, a uh, girls versus guys. And I was the only person who had done an escape room when it oh, came okay. to the guys. So I literally had to carry, you know, I had to carry the team and we got to the last, the very last step and mm. just couldn't figure it out and come to find out there was a map on a pillow. <laughs> like, like, the, and we asked for clues and everything. And the lady kept saying, make sure to check the right map, make sure to check the right map. And I'm like, mm-hmm. what are you talking about? And then last minute, somebody like put their hand on the pillow, and then you looked, and the pillow was of a map. It was a, mm. and it had all the answers we needed to what y'all needed. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Yep. That's see, that's crazy. And you know, but you know how video, why, why I say video games always help with that, because after playing so many video games and doing so much stuff inside video games, so many different puzzles and quests and things like that. Everything becomes details. Yep. Everything becomes a detail, and that, and that's why I say like, um, like that comparing it to God of War three. This is why it's so different because the puzzles in God, the previous God of Wars was hard. Like, was hard. There was no marker. There was no nothing. You just had to figure it. Out. Whereas now it's like 
it'll point you in the right direction or you'll hear our our uh atreus give you a little clue here or there Boy. things like that yeah so uh that's that's dope that's that's crazy yeah, that you did the two of them escape, out escape rooms are fun i, I yeah. always i recommend everybody try it it puts you in a good space um and it it's uh i personally think it's a hell of a relationship tester mm. like because you'll truly get frustrated with somebody um you'll you'll see how frustrated people can get mm-hmm. and if it can bring out kind of the worst in people because really? you want to win like people are, get really competitive people get really impatient um and some people just give up like it, it's kind of you you see, it's a hell of a way to measure somebody yeah i think i'm gonna take my i'm gonna surprise my wife on one take her off. Oh, yeah. only because oh you see it's, it's why is why I said her because she has no gaming experience. Like she has no gaming experience. She has no like. All she knows is work, school, and track. Yeah. <laughs> and none of those will help her for escape room. Nope. You know, no nope. escape room. So uh, that'll uh, be an experience for her. And see the the beauty of it is like, I think some people need to learn how to like. If you need to lead, lead. But if you need to follow, learn how to follow. True. And I, I think that's I'm see, I'm over here prepping myself for it. Like I gotta all right, if she wanna lead if I gotta lead, you know I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna take the reins and ride through. Man, but I, I wanna try you, it. It's a it's a it's a hell of a thing. Especially now picture this. I'm with a bunch of guys that I don't really know. Mm. I mean, I know them, but not nothing like where I would want to be trapped in a room with them. Yeah. And we got to sit here and work together. And somebody's yeah. got to run point and somebody's got to follow, you know, it, it you got to be able to balance people's egos. Yeah. That's all, you know, that's always the biggest part of it. Oh, uh, of course. People's egos. And mm-hmm. ah dude, it just it's a fun experience, but but it's also speaking on like role playing games and whatnot, board games and all that. I really 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 want to go larping. LARPing, live action Extreme. role playing game. Isn't that what we were talking about? Where they were live streaming? No, LARPing is like we go out to a park, and we got oh, styrofoam yeah. and you talking about like role play, like yes. role models. You see role models? Yes. Oh. I want to LARP so bad. I, I, but you want to do that like medieval times, or I don't give a. It could be mythical. I don't care. Cause I'm gonna be. I want to LARP. I want to be a ninja. I want to be a ninja with with two revolvers. <laughs> That's what I want to be. I want to be a ninja with two rev- with unlimited uh with unlimited uh, throwing stars, and I just want to be legit, like in the shadows. <laughs> I already got. <laughs> Damn. I'm- um. I didn't. I don't think I was that planned out. I've, I've. That's. A, I've always thought about that. Ever since watching Roma, after seeing that movie, I was like, I would do that shit. Like, I'm prepared yeah. for some shit like that. Like, yeah. he, he gonna be, he, he gonna be like, he gonna be like, oh, I froze you. No, you didn't. I, I Akuma Shadow <laughs> grabbed your ass. <laughs> to fit. I am well prepared by all of my favorite villains and favorite superheroes, so there's nothing you can do to me. <laughs> he gonna be like, I punched you. You didn't punch me. I reversed it with the time stone. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> reverse, reverse. <laughs> oh man. So I I I'm well prepared. I, I thought I was bad. I just wanted to go and like have the, the hammer of truth. And the shield yeah, of, see, of they they would they would have to make it so minimal. Like, okay, we're all we all start off as like knights or or wizards or whatever. We would have to start off like, if you give me free reign, it's over. Like, I'm gonna win. Like, I'm busting out the catalyst from Re- <laughs> Ready Player One. Oh, <laughs> we all die. Oh God, you see, see how see how prepared I am. I'm prepared. <laughs> I'm, re- I'm ready for it all. But Bro, that's hey, why. You- do you remember the uh do you remember the Renaissance Fair in high school? Did you go? No. 
Okay. Wait. Wait, is that the one Renaissance Fair? Wasn't that in Redland? No, no, no. Not I went to that too. That was fun. Okay. Okay. But, uh, <laughs> where they, they had Shakespeare and everything too. Uh, mm-hmm. But I'm talking about when on campus they had a Renaissance Fair and I couldn't find a sword. So I went with a lightsaber in my in my hilt like and I tied a leather belt like onto the lightsaber. Oh, he did it. Yeah, I did. And it was epic and I had a good time. Really? Um so if if I could have fun just doing that, I can only imagine LARPing. I gotta know the rules, man. You gotta give me like a cause you know me, I'm gonna try to break the game. <laughs> I'm gonna try to break it. <laughs> but I hey, you you set it up. You think I you know. could set up something like that? I mean, we could. I mean, the internet is vast. We could yeah. put a post out. Like, who wants to LARP? Let us know in the comments if you want to come LARPing with us. Ooh. Uh, if you want to LARP with us, let us know because I'm down for that. Because okay. I'm, da- oh, I'm down for the ultimate ninja. Like, I'm down to become the ultimate ninja. Like, I have to see Fat you. You know what? We're actually about to be strapped for time. Like we're coming up on our timeline right now, but we had a topic and we're going to be, we're going to come back even more prepared next week. Uh, was that what you about to get into? What was it? The, to- the about uh, taking our three, fa- our three favorite. If oh, you could. I totally forgot. Yeah. Yeah. Do well, we wanna... had so much time. No, we'll do that next week. Cause we're, okay. we're, we're about to run out of time, okay. but imagine, imagine if, if you could like you you set up a LARPing event with like you be you come as your best. I want to be a ninja that can dip into shadows. <laughs> You're not catching me. <laughs> You're not catching me, dog. Like I, I be that, one of the ninja from Ninja Assassins. I want to be it all, man. I want to be able to just. <laughs> Into a shadow and, and literally smoke uppercut you from the floor. <laughs> oh, it's gonna be over. You set that up, dog. I am I am gonna win. I'm telling you I'm gonna win. It's like it's like like PUBG just just epic. I I'm, I'm lost for words, man. Of course you are, because you wasn't expecting that. No, not at all. <laughs> I, I didn't think you'd be that. First I, off, I didn't think you'd be that into it. Uh, secondly, man. I didn't think you would go that far with it. I'm you telling you, I got this. A ninja. Let me repeat what you said. A ninja with dual revolvers mm-hmm. and unlimited ninja star mm-hmm. with the shadow, the hidden shadow take the Akuma shadow slide mm-hmm. and the ability to phase in and out of shadows and mm-hmm. shadow uppercut yep. people. Who stops me? Tell me. Other than other than Thanos' gauntlet, who stops me? <laughs> other than the catalyst from Ready, Ready Player One that's already equipped to my belt, who stops me? No one can do it any better. <laughs> this dude. I'm ready. I am ready. You brought it up. I'm ready for it. You 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 you, you surprised you're surprised because I'm this ready I'm well prepared I'm prepared for a lot of stuff that I'm being a pessimistic optimist for <laughs> just so you know <laughs> you bring it up and I got a plan for it I got the I got the ultimate plan and I got the ultimate preparation done for that already only thing I haven't done was hit the gym yet <laughs> I, know. I do gotta get in that's shape. it I, so I in shape for this because I can't be much of a of an elven warhammer shield bearer yeah and i can't keep up on the battlefield because <laughs> my, my calves are cramping because i didn't drink enough water <laughs> Ooh, i'm motivated to go to the gym just to be a shadow ninja oh i am dog i'm in the gym tomorrow <laughs> tomorrow more than gym time echo two mile run tomorrow oh, God. i'm ready I'm ready. Just everybody. You guys know I'm ready. I I think we should call it on that note. Yes, sir. That's the end of the episode. Hey, and you know what? 
make sure there's um we'll put the links below there's multiple places where you can check us out so you can check us out on our clearly where you're watching it now on our youtube page but then also you can check us out um because we're a part of tone deaf radio and you tone can find us radio. on spreaker and tone deaf radio is they've been around for a while uh the deaf fresh show and a bunch of other programs and we're now a part of that family and you can go and check us out there you guys make sure to go create an account like follow and all that other good stuff check out all the other shows there yes um, sir and what other plugs do we got streamers hide out for the win Shout um, out streamers hide out application stream. coming soon right <laughs> hey but seriously though hit that subscribe button guys we really we really do need all the subscriptions we, we need, as possible. We need the subscribe, subscribe. the subscribe, the subscription yes. button pressed, and not only that, click the little bell. Click the click bell. The click the little bell. bell. Click the bell. It's it's, click it's a bell. combo. You got to do the. If you don't hit the combo, then you ain't getting your drink. And you're not getting the full experience. All right. And then you're you just need missing the, out. You need the drink. Because it's like, it's like not a drink fillet and not getting lemonade or sweet tea. Like you just yeah. Out. Yo, on? yo, my wife said, oh, I just want a sandwich. What? 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 You, that's backwards. <laughs> like, you don't go you, to Chick-fil-A and not get the... Like, what'd you go for? What did you go for? And, you know, on that note, guys, I'm going to go clip my toenails. I'm Baron J67. <laughs> and I'm T. Jones. Peace.